It's time once again for our continuing series, Gardening Tips. Tonight we learn about how to cope with root maggots. Hi everyone, Darcy Echeverry with the Cooperative Extension Service, and we're here at Rosie Creek Farm today bringing you your gardening tips. We're going to talk with you about common pests you could find in your garden and things you can do to control them. We're going to focus on root maggots today, which is a pest you're likely to find if you're growing coal crops such as broccoli and cabbages and things like turnips and radishes. You might see signs of feeding on these crops, which could be entry and exit wounds from the roots or, or possibly even girdling and death of younger plants. This problem is caused by the larval stage of a fly in the family Anthemiidae. These flies overwinter as pupa in the soil and emerge as adults in the spring as the soil worms. The flies mate and lay their eggs on host plants and when those eggs hatch, the larvae move into the soil and begin feeding on your plant and that's when you're gonna be seeing the damage in June um, and parts of July. So to combat this problem, the number one thing that you can do is rotate your crops. Make sure to plant your crops in different places each year so that that host cycle is disrupted. Other things that you can do if you have a root maggot problem are covering your crops with row covers and that will stop the adult flies from laying their eggs on the crops. If you suspect you have a root maggot problem but you're not sure, you can always bring it into the Extension office and we can do an identification for you to get you on the right track for solving your pest problem. Join us next week when we'll be talking about thinning your crops here on Gardening Tips. Gardening Tips, brought to you by Fairbanks Stump Grinders and by Midnight Sun Family Medicine.